Hello friends, welcome again and this is my new project e-pharmacy store or you can say that online e-pharmacy store, online medicine store, right? And I have developed this project in Java, Spring Boot, Angular and MySQL. If we talk about the versions then, I have used uh, uh, Spring Boot version 2.1.6 release and for Angular, I am using Angular version 13 and uh, for uh, MySQL, I am using MySQL 5.6. And for port, I am running microservices on port 8080 and Angular on port 4200. For ID, I am using STS Spring Boot tool suits for developing the Spring Boot application and the microservices. And uh, I am using uh, Visual Studio Code for developing the Angular application, right? So these all technology stacks we have used for developing this project, e-pharmacy store or e online e-pharmacy store. So let's start with the functionality go through that what the features are available inside the project, right? So the project title is eFarmacy Store and this is a mini project developed in Java Spring Boot and Angular. Mini project because it has only and only customer operations. There is no admin operations available in it, right? So once you run this project on port 4200 means on the Angular application, then you will get this home page, right? So you can see this is the static content and some of the medicines are coming on the home page, right? So these are the dynamic content, right? So these all uh, products are coming from the database through API. If you click on the buy now, then you will be able to see the details, right? If you click on add to cart, but you will not be able to buy because there is a restriction. So you can't buy any products without registration. You must have login details for buying any of the product or medicines right so this is the home page and it contains the medicine second one is uh, about this is also a static page there is nothing dynamic on it all the contents are coming from angular templates directly these all are the medicines all of the medicines are here and these all medicines are coming through the microservices which we have written in the spring boot and from backend system these all medicines we have stored in the database mysql this is a customer login from here customer can log in and customer can buy the medicines these are the registration if customer doesn't have the user id and password then he can register from here after that he will be able to log inside the system using that user id and password right this is a contact us this is a static contact us page we are not saving the value of this contact us page anywhere and this is and even we are not sending any type of email and sms from this page this is a static form okay so let's start with the login details right so if you log inside the system then the user id is amit at the rate gmail.com and password is test if you log in then you will get this dashboard right here user can see all of his my accounts and my orders and my cart right you can see this is the my cart there is nothing because we have not added any of the item inside the cart this is a my orders from where he will be able to see all of the orders which he placed earlier once you click on it he will be able to see all of the order details <laughs> this is a my account from here you will be able to update it. <coughs> your account details means customer will be able to update his account details right now i am going to buy some medicines right for buying the medicine just click on that and you can sorry uh, you can see details right here and add to cart once you add to cart then that medicine will be added into the cart if you click on my add my card then you will be able to see the medicines click on continue shopping and i want to buy this one also add to cart so there are two items right now i am going to add one more so i have three item right if i want to delete any item just click on delete and that item will be deleted from the cart right so once you click on the checkout then it will ask for card details this is a dummy payment gateway we are not making any type of live transactions we are not making <coughs> any type of payment gateway transactions right so you can enter whatever you want right we are not validating those details so i am entering the card details the customer name the card type and the year and the month and my payment once you make the payment you will get your order id so the order id is 301 and on 301 there are two items right you can print your receipt from here also if you really if you go on the my orders then you will be able to see the last order id this one which you have placed today right once you click on that you will be able to see the details of the order right the last one is a logout once you click on the logout none of the user will be able to see uh, his uh, 
administration menu like my orders my cards and my account let me show you so my administration and my cart is available here but if i log out then you can see you can see the menu has been changed because it's a session driven menu it's coming it's not coming right so it's a session driven menu it's sending according to the user level session right so these are all functionalities we had developed inside this project e pharmacy store as i as i told you earlier this is a mini project developed in java spring boot and mysql with angular front end uh, framework right so if you need any extra features if you need any type of enhancement in this project just put it into the comment we will incorporate those changes and we will make this project more better and better according to your requirements and don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies thanks for watching the video thank you very much